Hi guys, it's Jenny. So for today's video, I really wanted to do a haul because I haven't done a haul in literally ages. I can't even remember the last one that I did. Uh, probably wasn't even that long ago though, but you know, oh well. So it's gonna be probably quite a quick haul because I've just got like a few things. I don't have a load of stuff. I've got a few things um, and I've got pieces that I've picked up from like everywhere like literally every store I've got Primark, Urban Outfitters, Topshop, Brandy Melville, some stuff from Bali like just a load of stuff um, and I'm so excited to show you guys and yeah let's just get into it shall we. So this stuff I've been buying um, like over the past I'd say like four months maybe um like it's been a long time so yeah I'm gonna get into actually we'll start off with what I got from Urban Outfitters I literally got one thing and it is a beanie what um I don't own any beanies um because I don't think I really suit them um but I went in there the other day and they had like a massive sale on and this was like on sale for 10 pounds and I had been wanting this for ages because it's my favourite colour and I just, yeah, I've really wanted it for ages. And I was with Lewis and he was like, you should get it, it's really cute, like it would look really cool on you. And I was like, I don't know, but I got it. Probably a bad idea because like we are going into spring summer now so yeah, I'm not going to be able to wear this much. Um, also, I kind of look stupid in it i mean <laughs> not with this outfit obviously but i don't know i think i look kind of stupid in it but it's also really cute um was it a waste of money yes probably um but it's cute so whatever now i'm gonna move on to primark i literally went in here like two days ago but i know this video is not going up on the day that i'm filming it primark have some really cute stuff in right now i didn't buy any clothes because i was holding off on buying clothes because i want to do like a really big primark shop soon so yeah i didn't buy any clothes but i got some really cute bits so the first thing i got is this this is the clear and cool facial moisturizer it was only two pounds and i got it because i have run out of like my current moisturizer so i figured i would give this one a try as it's only two pounds it smells like a mixture of like tea tree oil but then also like mint chocolate chip ice cream <laughs> it's really weird but um yeah i got that i haven't tried it yet but it looks like it could be quite nice i then got three packs of socks yeah that's pretty insane. Um, I got some normal like, whoa, some normal trainer socks because I am always running out of these. So whenever I go into Primark, I pick up another pack and they're only two pounds. So why not? Then I got these. Basically, I went in there wanting to buy socks because I've started wearing my Dot Martin boots a lot more and I'm trying to like break them in before festival season because I'm going to a few festivals this year and I am planning on wearing my boots, like my Doc Martin boots, so I'm trying to like break them in. Um, but I need like long socks to wear with them because they kind of rub like the back of my leg at like the top of the boot. So I have to wear long socks and I don't own any, so that's why I wanted to buy some. Um, so I got this packet which has like cheetah print, leopard print, it looks like giraffe print, like it's just got a load of different animal prints. Oh no, I think that's giraffe print. But yeah, I thought these were really cute and they're only £2.50 and you get five pairs in there. So I thought they were really cute. And then I got this pack, which is actually from the men's section. They have some really cute socks um, and they just look like this. I've already worn um, a pair the other day, but these ones are grey and they have little palm trees on them. And then you've got like a surfboard, coconut, a BW van. And a flower and i thought these were so cute especially like the colors of them i thought they were really good for spring summer and these are only five pounds and you get five pairs as well so yeah although when i wore these you couldn't even see the like embroidered um 
this pattern on it, which is kind of sad, but it's okay because you could still see the color and they were cute. So, and then the last thing I got from Primark was a sheet mask. Um, I'm gonna move on to Brandy Melville. Brandy Melville is like my favorite store at the moment. Like, literally half my wardrobe is from Brandy Melville. I absolutely love it. And this stuff I did actually get um, with the purpose of like taking away when I with me when I went to Bali. So I took all of it away with me. And I loved all of it. So I got another one of these tops. Actually two more. These are just like the bandeau like tube tops. And I lived in this one last summer. So I wanted to get some more different colours. So I got this one which is a really pretty blue colour. I don't own anything this colour but it's so so pretty. Like I love it. Especially with the tan it looks so nice. Um, and then I just got a black one because... Black goes with everything, so it's always good to have a black one. And I really like wearing them, like, now even, in, like, the springtime, because you can just put them on, like, I have now with a jacket. Um, this is also from Brandy Melville, by the way. But, yeah, you can layer it with, like, different stuff, and I think they look really cute. So then the next thing I got is this t-shirt. This is just a cropped white v-neck t-shirt, and they have this in, like, a load of different colours. And... Yeah, I decided to pick one up because I thought they, it would be really good just to have to put on with like shorts, skirts, jeans, like literally anything. I thought it was like really good. I then got a skirt, which is so unlike me. I literally own like two pairs, of, two pairs, two skirts now, like as well as this one. Um, but I don't know how I'm going to show you this. But it's this, it's basically like one of the wrap skirts and it literally comes like this. Like you see, completely open and then you tie it around you. Um, it's so cute, it's got this really pretty um, pattern on it, like it's super cute. It's a little bit short on me, like I feel kind of weird wearing it because it is like just like a strip of material that you wrap around you like I feel kind of weird wearing it I'm gonna flash someone but it is really cute so yeah and it, I'm excited to wear it like now that I'm home and I can wear my Doc Martin boots I'm excited to wear it with that because I think it would look really really cool the last thing I actually got from Brandy is a pair of earrings um I am like really into like just really cool and different earrings. I don't really wear earrings at all, really. But when I do, I like them to be kind of like cool and different and like big. I saw these star earrings and thought they were so cool. I don't even know if that's focused, but I thought they were so cool. And I think they're only like five pounds. So yeah, I've been wearing these a ton recently. I absolutely love them. So I next got um, a pair of jeans from Topshop. I literally own no jeans. <laughs> um, I used to own a pair of the black Joni jeans from Topshop and I lived in them to the point where they started like getting holes in them. So I had to bin those because they were just no good. So I wanted to get another pair but I've been really into like not skinny jeans recently like I love my mom jeans even though they are like kind of too small for me now they are I love them so much so I wanted a pair of jeans that weren't like full-on skinny jeans and I actually heard I think it was Emma's rectangle that's like her channel name but I heard her in like one of her old videos she mentioned how she loves the Topshop straight jeans yeah like the straight jeans and they look so nice on her so I went in and tried some on and fell in love with them they are my favorite jeans now so this is what they look like they have loads of different like washes of denim I was originally going to get a pair of black jeans of these um, but they I don't know why just they looked weird on me I don't think I was used to wearing black jeans so I decided to get this kind of like darker denim and what I like the most is that they've got like a raw hem um, so it's like all frayed at the bottom but I love these jeans they are so comfortable they fit really nicely like really really nice and I think they look really nice on as well so yeah I 
freaking love these jeans and I wear them all the time now. Okay, so now let's move on to what I got in Bali. Um, I only picked up two pieces of clothing. I was planning on doing like a massive like clothing haul in Bali, but honestly, we didn't do a ton of shopping and I didn't find like loads of stuff that like, well, I found loads of stuff that I liked, but it was all like really, really summery stuff, obviously because it's in Bali and it's hot all the time. But it was stuff that I wouldn't wear back home, even if it was really, really hot, I just, I wouldn't wear it here. Um, it was stuff that I'd only wear on holiday and I'm not planning on going on another holiday this year. So yeah, I didn't wanna like kind of waste my money on those types of clothing. So I just picked up two t-shirts that I really liked thought were really cool so the first one I got is this one I got this at the Deus Ex Machina I think I'm saying that right I used to pronounce it Deus Ex Machina but um Lewis then told me that was very very wrong so I think it's Deus Ex Machina um and it's just a yellow t-shirt and it says custom surf boards Changu Tokyo and I thought it was so cool so in Changu they have this shop um, and it's also like a restaurant as well um, it's a really cool place to kind of like hang out we noticed that people would often go there with like a big group of friends so I wish we had like <laughs> a big group of friends with us that we could go there but we went for dinner once and then for breakfast and we really preferred the breakfast to dinner um, I remember I got a burger and I think Lewis got a steak for dinner and it just wasn't like that good like it was okay but it wasn't really that good but the breakfast was really good I got the breakfast burrito and it was so so good but yeah they also have like a clothing shop and you can get surfboards there it's such a cool shop they have this shop like not the restaurant but they have the shop um, kind of all over Bali like we saw one in Ubud Kuta and I'm sure they'll have one in Seminyak like it's all over Bali and I'm assuming they have one in Tokyo as it says Tokyo on the top um but they also have them in America I'm pretty sure but yeah that's what I picked up and I absolutely love it it's also got like the Deus logo on the sleeve and I thought it was really cool but then the last thing I got is this t-shirt and this is from a shop called Les Basic. This shop was so cute. It was right next to um, Gypsy Cafe, which was our favourite place to go and get breakfast. We love Gypsy and it's right next door. So of course you have to pop in. So it is actually really long. It's like a t-shirt dress on me. Um, they only had extra large left and I really wanted this t-shirt. So I just went with it, um, but it's really cute. So the back just looks like this. It says uh, the Sunday Life Bali and I thought it was so cute. It is pretty see-through as you can as you can tell but I think it's so cute with like a nice bralette underneath and like tied up with some jeans or some shorts. That's how I was wearing it on um, in Bali and yeah I absolutely love this. I love both these pieces because of course they remind me of Bali. Um, oh I did actually get a ring which is this one here. Let me I got this ring, which I'm sure you're not going to be able to see now. Uh, there we go. It's just like a wave silver ring and I've wanted one of these rings for ages and they have a market in Changu in Love Anchor, I think it's called. And that's on like every day and they do really nice jewelry pieces. So I saw this and picked it up and I literally have been wearing it every day since I got it and I love it. It always reminds me of Bali um, and it was around 80,000 I think, which what, it's like four pounds. So yeah, it's yeah really cheap and really good and I love these pieces so much. Okay, so the last thing I have to show you is probably like my favorite piece in this whole haul. I literally got this yesterday and I'm already in love with it. So yesterday, Lewis and I went to a kilo sale in Cardiff. Um, and if you don't know what a kilo sale is, it's basically this big like event where they have a load of like vintage clothing, like literally everything ranging from t-shirts to jeans, shorts, um, 
coats, jackets, dresses, like you're literally every piece of clothing, they have it there. And um, you pay by the weight. So it's 15 pounds per kilo. So you just go around, pick up everything that you like, and then you go to the tills, they weigh it, and then you pay based on how much your items weigh. Um, so this is the second one that I've been to and I love them. I think they're so cool and I want to go to more but they kind of they're not on like every weekend they kind of travel around the big cities um so yeah what we can do to like try and find them is just literally google them I like going on Facebook and just typing in like vintage kilo sale um and maybe your city or like the closest city and see what comes up um obviously I don't live in Cardiff I don't even live in Wales um, but it's only like an hour drive from me, so it's not too far away. So yeah, anyway, I went there yesterday with Lewis and I had in mind to pick up a denim jacket that was like top of my list to pick up was a blue denim jacket because I have a black one, which is behind me, um, which I don't wear as much anymore, but I used to wear it all the time. And I really want to cover that one in patches and I have a blue denim jacket, but it's like got like rips all over it and it's really distressed and it's just not really what I like anymore like I just don't really like it and it's got loads of pins on it which I really love so I wanted to get a just a standard blue denim jacket that I can put my pins on and I found one and oh my god this is so rare by the way to find a blue denim jacket at these kilo sales they normally go straight away but they had loads in there and so this is the one i picked up it looks like nothing special i put all of my pins on it and i think it looks so cute i love it so much but it's actually by guess which wasn't why i picked it up this is the one that i kind of i looked through the rack and was like oh i really like this one and i was like oh and it's also guess like wow that's crazy so it's got like the little um guest logo there and also the guest logo at the bottom there and it's so cool it's a size uh extra large or large it's a size large but it fits me so well just like really oversized like super comfy i am obsessed with this and it cost me 15 pounds like can you actually believe that for a vintage guest denim jacket, I paid £15. Like, that's crazy. Even for a denim jacket, like, they're like £50 in Urban Outfitters. Like, so proud of this find. But, yeah, that is everything I have to show you. That's everything I've been buying over the last few months. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't already. And yeah, I hope you're all having a lovely week and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.